What's going on, nieces and nephews? Your favorite Uncle Budcat is back with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing G Fuel Pac Man, and it's called Power Palette Cherry Lollipop. But before we pop this bad boy open, let's look at the detail of this, man. Oh, man. Love it. And this has got, I believe, 140 milligrams. Yep, 140 milligrams of caffeine. Now let's pop this bad boy open. Oh, let's take a sniff. That smells good. Mmm. Ah. That is delicious. That is delicious right there. We're going to turn this up and down and give our final opinion of the product. But in the meantime, has anybody ever grew up playing Pac-Man? I know I have. Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man. Man, those were the days. Go to a skating ring, get a quarter or two quarters. Go play Pac-Man or Mrs. Pac-Man on the machine. Walk em, walk em, walk em, walk em. Then you die. Ew, 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 woke, woke. Mm. Man, that is good. I'm going to take one more. Mm. Definitely tasting. The cherry in there. It's almost like a candy. Kind of. Well, lollipop is a candy, but definitely, it's definitely good. I like it. Let's see what the ingredients say on the back. Green coffee bean? I ain't never heard of no green coffee bean. Green tea extract. Tart cherry, blueberry, broccoli, and kale. I think broccoli and kale is in all their freaking products, believe it or not. It's like the same ingredients. But I gotta tell you, this is actually pretty daggum good. I'm not even gonna lie. And this is, uh, I believe, a limited edition, I believe. Yeah, limited edition. Right there on a the daggum can right there. It's definitely got a little bit of a, almost as if it's a sour little bite to it. It's not overpowering, it's just a little. I wish I can compare this to what candy, you know, but I ain't had candy in quite some time, so can't really tell you, can't seem to make up my mind. Maybe a Cherry Jolly Rancher, maybe. I mean, it's not bad. I like it. I like this a lot. I've been trying a whole lot of, you know, G Fuel lately <laughs> in these videos since I've started. And I got to tell you, I've ran across some good ones and bad ones. But overall, my personal favorites are their cans. It's just something about them. It just brings out more flavor in them, I think. Excuse me. I would like to see a video on how they make their G Fuel, like the ingredients and all that stuff they use, but I don't think we're going to get that lucky, but it'd be pretty cool to go inside a G Fuel factory and see how they make this stuff. Mm. It's definitely good. They got to be putting something in here that is giving that sweet taste. Because they say there's no sugar in here, but there's got to be a substitute or something that they're using in the ingredients that's giving it that sweet kick as well as that bit of a sour bite to it. But overall, me personally, I think it's a good product. I enjoy it. Uh, I would just drink one a day. You don't want to overdo it. Too much caffeine is bad for you. All right. Just saying. But for this being 140 milligrams of it, as far as caffeine goes, it's actually pretty good. 
Mm, mm -mm. On the back, it has a little dot that says energy. They have Pac-Man that says focus. The ghost, whenever you hit the uh, special little pebble that turns the, the blue pebble that turns them into ghost. And then the red one, uh, reaction. I like that. It's pretty cool. I like the way they did the design, man. Like, really. And I'll, I'm always wondering, do they, like, pay uh, the company that owns, like, these games to advertise it on their can? Like, I've always wondered that. And if y'all folks at home watching, uh, let me know. Like, I'm just curious about that. Anyway, overall, to me, it tastes like a cherry candy. It's got just a little, very little bit of a uh, sour bite to it. 140 milligrams. I've only paid $1.97 for this, I think, if not less, at Walmart in Tennessee. Um, Price is good. Taste is good. Sick can design. You know, I like it a lot. Man, I'm going to have to give this a 4 out of 5. It's actually pretty good. I, I like it personally. I mean, it might not be my favorite, but it's good. I like it a lot. Mm. <sighs> well, nieces and nephews, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Or I should say, light it up. I guess the 4th of July. And uh, leave a comment. Uh, if you ain't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be sure you click on that bell to turn on your notifications. That way you'll be aware when your favorite Uncle Mud Cat uploads a video. Hopefully y'all have a great and safe 4th of July. Hopefully y'all enjoy y'all's... Fourth of July, y'all be safe and careful out there. Eat good, all right, because I know you are, all right. I know Uncle Mud Cat's going to eat pretty daggum good. Y'all be safe and careful out there, nieces and nephews. This has been your favorite Uncle Mud Cat signing out, and I'll catch y'all later. Y'all take care now, you hear? Cheers.